I was in rehearsal for a show when the casting director told me about a project, the Hamilton mixtape. The music and the concept were unlike anything I've ever heard before. But I was committed to this other show and couldn't get involved. Well, the show I was in got canceled during previews. So uh, suddenly your boy was out of a job. <laughs> um, but uh, thankfully, uh, I got the call a couple hours later. I was hired for the workshop of the Mixtape Project. It was an inventive creation that used rap, R&B, and pop to tell the story of Alexander Hamilton's rise from orphan to the architect of our nation's financial system. I mean, hashtag started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> you know? uh, I mean, the project became a phenomenon. It's a story about America then, told by America now. The cast is inclusive, using actors of different races to play the founders of our nation. Now that is revolutionary. I remember the first day Lynn brought the opening number of the show to me, Alexander Hamilton. And, you know, at the time, it wasn't a musical. It was probably going to be a mixtape album at that time, but it also could have just been a song that he had written. The White House called and said, we're doing an evening of poetry and spoken word. If you have anything on the American experience, that would be great. I said, I got a hot 16 about Hamilton. <laughs> How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot? I mean, it was very apparent to me that even if it was an album, that it could belong and live on stage. When the scholar, the ten dollar founding father, my performance went viral, and we were sort of off to the races after that. It's a little bit like George Washington getting his cabinet together. He goes, all right, who can do these jobs? Who do I know that are the best? One of the blessings of this team is we trust each other's ideas, and it's inspiring to have partners that basically say, be fearless with me. I go, here's what I've written, and then we pull it apart and we put it back together again. I, I don't want to lose the da 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 okay. I, okay. That's worth saving to me. So does that mean started and not? Not start to right. What Lynn writes and Alex arranges works for me choreographically. We're reaching out as if we're gesturing to all those people over there, all those people over there. Then we lean hand to heart, so it comes up almost like a pledge of allegiance. Just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, I'm hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Andy Blankenbuehler is a mathematician <laughs> in the sense that uh, he thinks like an orchestrator. It's just, he is just art in motion. Tommy Carroll is just the leader. He's the coach. He is the ear that listens and hears it all, the one who sees it all. Extend the rise-ups at the end. It did feel like we got out too soon. And, and we could stay in rise-up land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gonna rise up in time to take a shot. We gonna rise up in time to take a shot. We gonna rise up, rise up. It's time to take a shot. Rise up, rise up. It's time to take a shot. What I wanted to try to do was remove any of the black and white nostalgia, sepia tone, and make this feel vital and vibrant. When you have the collaborators I'm working with who have 12 ideas to every one of mine, they just make your work better. And now, from our original cast, please welcome the incredible Renee Elise Goldsberry, Jasmine Cephas Jones, and Philippa Sue, the Schuyler sisters.
Manuel Miranda and Christopher Jackson perform. Plus, Whoopi Goldberg, Amanda Seyfried, and more. The Kennedy Center Honors.